in the uh, studio here. We have uh, John Macy, who is the person responsible for a show coming up this Sunday called Bookish Beats at the Center for Sex and Culture. Woo. Welcome. Hey, how are you? Yay. Got a little devil mermaid here in this picture. Yeah, so yeah, we're looking yeah, at your yeah. flyer is that, here. Is that your handiwork? No, that's <laughs> actually uh, Doreen Katz, who's the curator for the um, Center for Sex and Culture. So. Awesome. So tell us about Bookish yeah. Beasts. Bookish Beasts was, uh, you know, WonderCon doesn't, isn't happening in San Francisco anymore. So there's no real big comics event in the springtime. So we thought this would be a good dead area to get our own agenda kind of out in the open. So we did Bookish Beasts, and it's a one-day zine fest for... Just all the weird San Francisco cartoonists that don't really get any attention at Ape, or they get they could they're a little too adult, or a little too transgressive, or a little too um, mature in themes or content. So they um, this is a little tribute to them. So it's they get to show their wares and meet readers and uh, collectors. Yeah, I saw that it was at the Center for Sex and Culture, so that means it's more of an adult. Yeah, but that doesn't, that doesn't necessarily mean sexy. Right. But mm. there is going to be plenty of sex there. So. Well, looking at this picture here on the back side, where you have basically uh, something in a gas mask with a little tail and like yeah, a, I know a harness him. on it. That, looks like pristine. Is that indicative? Uh, of, uh, no, that's my that's, art. Oh, that's so. your art. <laughs> that's and, my and puppy. Is, your, is, that, is that indicative of your art, or are you, uh, do you have a, a wide range? I, of, uh, I have a range. So, yeah, this, is, uh, this was a puppy play uh, comic I did for Instigator. So oh, fascinating. Was, um, uh, they wanted bad, nasty. Bad. Well, you know those puppies. I could. They just, if they want nasty, I'll do. They that. get up to all kinds of stuff. So, is it, is it a man or a woman? It's whatever you want. Yeah. That's what do you want? The beauty Andrew? of it. Yeah. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's open to the It's a lady puppy or a male puppy. Andrew, first of all, let me ask you: Are you attracted? Does it turn you on? It, that depends. <laughs> no, you got to answer the question first. <laughs> no I'll tell you what no genders. Way. If you tell me if it turns you on, of course, then no. you're going to say no. Uh, well, the tail, the tail turns me on. Oh, it's it a dude. Up. That's it. You're gay. Sorry, man. You're <laughs> okay, done. so um, so this is going to center pretty much. So so when people go there, uh, what, is there going to be comics? There's going to be things for people to buy. Right. There's going to be comics and zines, mostly self-published, not all. And uh, there's going to be art and pinup and sketching and. So there'll be actual art going on. Yes. Awesome. Yeah, that'd be great to watch. I'm always amazed. At, I mean, how people. This is like pure PFM, pure fucking magic to me. Um, how people could, all the detail, and I mean, it'd be interesting to see how long it takes somebody to draw something like this, and what tools they use. It can. Well, he does it. Yeah, like like, yeah, it's amazing. I mean, you do this by hand, by computer, or what? Or both? Or well, I I draw by hand and uh, and I ink with a brush, and I use a computer for coloring. But yeah, um, the thing that's interesting about this, you know, this type of work is that it's usually just one person, so they're responsible for everything, and they just reveal so much about themselves. Where a group effort. Yeah. Is, more of a you know a mood right or a theme yeah and then when you like these days a lot of people are just obviously in animation because you got mobile phones and games mm -hmm. and stuff is that a different art when you go from like drawing these characters to animating it must be completely different yeah that kind of art form that'll be with, mostly with programs programs yeah so, so that's much more technical right yeah yeah no so. zines and comics are like really uh you know it was all started in the early 90s and yeah. it, it's just it's raw it's like you know maximum rock and roll for comics it's very uh, street cred and they are all, all and, the movie studios yeah. are starting to buy up all the uh, old comic books and stuff aren't they well the you know or the or the or the the marvel and them are opening up their vaults to you know use all their different titles to make more money are you guys are you guys do you guys actually try and pitch your stuff to movie networks well, ever to try and like make a little bit of extra money no, no, I, I uh, don't because my stuff is rather n naughty. Uh, so yeah. um, no, I really want to see it. But I did have a, I had one that was being shopped around for uh, Liquid Television. Way back, oh yeah, Liquid way Television with the, on MTV. Which now you know how old Aeon I am. Aeon Flux so. and all that. Um, well, you know how old I am too because I, <laughs> I grew up watching it. <laughs> and uh, so yeah, it could have been an Aeon Flux, but it, uh, they kind of folded before that happened. Yeah. So oh, okay. So at this uh, at this at this uh, event on Sunday, so will the artists who are doing these comics be there as well? Yeah, that's you'll be able to get autographs. So it's like, it's like the nerd stuff. Yeah, absolutely. That's the point. It's the point is to connect them with readers and new readerships and with collectors and just the general public because these people are uh, you know they're they don't see the light of day too often right well you know they're artists yeah they're in the sort dark of nerd artists right well, who we love because we're all nerds here yeah exactly um, um is diego you know diego gomez yes yeah, yeah, yeah he's the one that turned me on to this oh yeah he immediately immediately like i said that's so diego diego's yeah. a uh 
probably more outgoing than most cartoonists. So. Wow. Wow, that's saying Jesus. something. You get it, you, and you get to look at their inner world. That's the amazing thing. Like, so what is the naughtiest thing that you are into that you would care to admit? Um, the well, like, well, the Center for Sexual Culture, part of this is they're, they're doing this uh, collection of zines. And mm. they're, they, these are librarians that work for libraries, but they do volunteer work at the center. And they, they're cataloging and scanning, and they're doing a searchable database of all these zines. And, mm. you know, uh, nobody's doing that. This is, uh, they're kind of, uh, pioneering this. So one of the collections that they got was from a family who uh, they didn't know their family member died. They got this collection of zines. They found like all his stuff and he was into cannibal sex porn. Aren't we? Not all? quite sure. illegal, but no, right in the well, cannibals. Uh, I mean, that's so Italian exploitation. Yeah. It wasn't yeah. so much uh, at people actually getting eaten as they were trussed up with an apple in their mouth. And that was more his, you know, so lots of, so it's the bondage part. And it always involves sex. Yeah. On a do spit, all, so to speak. Do yeah. all cartoonists at this level typically get some kind of kinky sex thing going on in their, in their cartoons? Or y- Yes, but people, uh, you know, there's people out there who intentionally want to have sex with cartoonists so they get into their books. And they're <laughs> oh, that's often, great. There must be a name for them. I, so like, kind of I, yeah. I call them... Cartoonist fuckers. <laughs> anyway, I, 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 oh, I just well, like tune tune chasers or something. Yes. Like that. <laughs> These are the kind of people no, that could not get an even a Starbucks job, right? No, no, they uh, they can be quite attractive. They can. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. And actually, some, many of them are very attractive, but they they want to be drawn and they want to uh, have they, a lover documents there. Uh, right. Fair. They want to look like a caricature or whatever. Yeah, oh, it is. Yeah. Ter- right. ter- it's like Jessica. It's like Jessica Rabbit said. I'm I'm, was it, uh, I'm not yeah. I'm, I'm not dur- I'm not bad. I'm just drawn that way. Right. So yeah, yeah I think it's all comes. I mean, it's probably yeah. It's probably probably Roger Rabbit had a lot to do with some of that. Yeah. Of and the if, fetishization. You know, dirty mind is a dirty mind. sexy thing. So. Is it it common, certainly is. It's very common for a cartoonist. Obviously, animation is a very, very different type of thing. But to do a series of uh, comics, you know, in the old style where you actually have captions and stories is very common for most comics. Com- yeah, that's, or is it more yeah, the... That, that's pretty standard. That's what we do, yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah. More the graphic novel, I think, is what he's in comparison to. Yeah, so you're taking to. the same character and you're putting them in different positions and yeah, that it's, kind of thing. It's yeah. very serious. It's a, just be, And the whole point is that just because... This is something that somebody out there might be offended by. It does not mean it's not legitimate work. So. Oh yeah, you know, offending people is half the fun sometimes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, that, to me, because to me, it because if, if it offends them, that means it hits these buttons, and those are the buttons you want to hit. Exactly. That's exactly. The, yeah. You want you want to take the sort of vanilla uh, world of where everybody's put it, you know, given a label and put in a boys act this way, girls act that way, and breaking up that, that artificial system. Oh yeah. That's what and, it's about. and then you'll even see some people where they'll take like legendary like 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 nice comics like Archie and stuff and like turn them into like porno. Oh, that was a big thing of not paying a hustler. Oh, hustler, that's things, right. Like, one of my favorite ones was I saw a picture of Ronald Reagan f- fucking the Statue of Liberty in the ass. And she was loving it. That's I, not I, Archie. That was one of the most beautiful uh, <laughs> things I'd ever seen. <laughs> it was so ridiculous. Oh, yeah. Well, hustler humor, you know. Yeah, or what, what the classic one was on. Is that, I remember the, remember the movie um, uh, The People vs. Larry Flint? Oh, sure. My favorite part was, is that the Tin Man? Do you remember that <laughs> <laughs> section? I actually remember that, that, I actually remember that layout. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So this goes on from noon to six p.m. at the cultural ce- the, the the center for sex and culture, which is at one three four nine Mission. So, uh, is it what does it cost to go? It's absolutely free. Absolutely free. You hear that, people? Something free in San Francisco? Go for it. And so then it says workshops from six thirty to nine. What are those? That's going to be about. Um, that's going to be put on by the librarian. So it's going to be something about archiving your work. Um, the Center for Sex and Culture does everything from like uh, body politics, like t- you know uh, the School of Shimmy is there. They do all sorts of mm-hmm. rope and bondage stuff. So sure. it could be just about anything. Okay, the organizers put on. So it's their so it's their workshops that are going on. Right, but this is definitely going to be uh, over eighteen. Okay, so. so some of you dudes can't bring your boyfriends. <laughs> uh, well, yeah. the umbilical cord. No chicken allowed. So this is not long enough. So, so. Disney's not going to be producing any of this material, right? Uh, this material will be here. I'll, I have this. Not Disney. Like oh, Disney, Disney wouldn't produce this no. kind of stuff. I don't think so. Okay. What about Miramax? <laughs> well, maybe Miramax. You never know. Depends on if you can get uh, Harvey Fier- uh, not Harvey Fierstein, <laughs> Weinstein convinced uh, convinced it could be a big uh, uh, Oscar uh, Oscar material. Yeah. Okay, great. And so people can uh, access this on Facebook. Yes. So, because so, I'm here on the page right now, and it's Bookish Beasts. I want to say Beats all the time. That's why I keep on trying to say it with the extra S. 
But uh, yeah, you can find it on Facebook. And is there any uh, other thing that they can do to look up or any more information about the artists or anything like that? It can be through the Center for Sex and Culture. Okay. And uh, on their website and their and their blogs. Awesome. And also on mine, which is John Macy, J O N M A C Y. Okay. Uh, well, thank you so much for taking time to come out here and promote this. Thank you. We really much. appreciate you having you on. Okay, people. Uh, Bookish Beasts at the Center for Sex and Culture. It sounds like a blast noon to 6 p.m. this Sunday. So it sounds like something post-brunch to do, if you ask me. After a little bit of brunch, go and see a little bit of drawn naked revelry. Who knows? Yeah. yeah. Why not? Yeah. yeah. That's what makes sense. Maybe you'll get drawn Let's into see. a comic next time. I think it'd be unfortunate you if you slept with a cartoonist and then you didn't get put into one yeah would that be like the ultimate slap yeah that's it's uh you're not applying yourself ah (laughs) (laughs) it just means you weren't good enough in bed oh Oh, yeah i know you get rated (laughs) doesn't that hurt i hate it when that happens well it's never happened to me of course